Ah, uh, no, and welcome back to the Match Day Live, and it's me, Dan, back again. And this weekend, Man United have to face Leicester City at home. Uh, well, not at home, at Leicester City, I should say. And the team I've gone for for this weekend is kind of the same, uh, but I've changed. I've got Martial and Lingard instead of Mkhitaryan, and um, we've got Carrick back in there, and we've got Damien as left back as well. So let's playing match as well oh and Chris Smalling obviously just be, just in case um just in case Phil Jones is injured because he did come off the last game against Hull uh yes yeah, so talking of the whole game let's get into it and what a frustrating game that was what a frustrating game I mean I literally could not moan at the ref more than I could that literally that game was ruined by the ref I think personally um, he literally kept giving everything away he literally if we got even if um, like some of the whole city players I swear they were just playing for it like it was so frustrating to watch because it was like Everything the ref gave, it was like, oh my days, what is, it was like, what the hell's happening, you know, every, ta every like, attack we was going for, oh, that's a foul, oh, that's a foul, oh, that's a foul, and then, it's, it's not, it wasn't just Hull though, it was against us as well, um, it was, um, Hull as well, when they attacked, literally, they, I think he gave more fouls to Hull than he did, than he did to Man United, I think it was like, like 50 I think it was like 10 fouls and we only got like two do you know what I mean um so <laughs> it's like what the fuck seriously oh there we go Martial on the score sheet um yeah so I watched the game thinking we started Mkhitary started Rashford I was surprised Martial 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 got dropped but um it w we started Valencia started Blint Obviously, Rojo and Jones and De Gea. Started with Carrick and Herrera and Pogba. Um, half time, well, first half was pretty sh it, it, it was poor. Uh, Ibrahimovic was poor. Carrick was poor. He kept giving the white, a ball away. Um, literally, there's no movement whatsoever. Second half, we did get a bit better. Uh, obviously, we controlled the ball a bit more. Uh, we had a few chances. Uh, first chance, like the first. Oh, in the first half, we had like one major chance, which was uh, like a, a triangle move with Pogba. And Pogba, oh my, oh, you just had to just put it through. You didn't have to do anything except from put it through, put it in. That's all he had to do, literally. And the, he was one on one of the goalie, and he fucked it up. <laughs> That's how bad it was. And and that was pretty much the only chance of the half. It was right, literally right in the. For, I think it was like forty second minute or something like that. What the hell? <laughs> and we we were just it was just so slow that first half. Second half, like I said, it did get a bit quicker. Rooney came on for um, Michael Carrick, and um, it changed a bit. But I it. it <laughs> Personally, I I don't think that was the right move. I think he should have brought on Mata personally, kept Mkhitaryan on, and then maybe we would have got the goal. But when we have Mkhitaryan and Mata playing together, it works. But for some reason, he decided to take Mata. He, t he decided to put Rooney on instead of uh, Mata, which I I disagreed with uh, Jose Mourinho, and. It was just, it was such a poor decision, personally. Uh, he, I mean, Rooney was so poor. He was trying to get the goal, I have to admit it, but he was so poor when he came on. Um, him and Ibrahimovic had a poor game. Um, so did Pogba, really. Um, we, we all had a poor game. Uh, um, but um, the only bad thing that did come away from the game was uh, Phil, J Phil Jones got injured or something. It was like a bruised uh, foot or something like that. He, I think... Uh, the MUTV said and um, so we might not see him this weekend but uh, apparently coming out today there is uh, injury as well to a first team goalie and they haven't released what goalie it is yet they'll probably release it when the press conference is um, so it'll be I don't know it'll be quite interesting to see 
If I'm hoping it's not De Gea, uh, personally, uh, but I th it'll probably be either Ro Romero or um, uh, Pereira. But I, because th we, I think we've just recalled Dean Henderson. I think uh, from Grimsby Town. So hopefully it's. Hopefully it's not De Gea, and hopefully it's not Pere uh, hopefully it's not Romero. Hopefully it's just one of the backups. Um, hopefully it's just maybe per Joel Pereira or something like that. But hopefully it's not De Gea because if we lose De Gea, um, I'm not being horrible to Romero. He's not the best of goal. He's well, he's a, he's a good goalie. I have to miss it, but he's not the best in the Premier League, and especially when we got a game against Leicester this weekend, it it will. We all need a good goalie this weekend, and but I just hope it's not uh, De Gea. Yeah, so getting back to the whole game, we uh, second half we had chances. Uh, the only blatant one was Mata. Like he, all, all he had to do is put it in. He hit. The, <laughs> he decided to hit the goalkeeper instead, and it literally that was it. Um, after that, so uh, pretty much we had a couple chances. And they had a chance right at the end, actually. Uh, I think it's Markovic, one on one with De Gea, and he gave De Gea the eyes. And he, he luck, luckily, it came off the post and went straight back out. But we got lucky there, and it finished nil nil. But it was so disappointing that we dropped a uh, point against Hull, and we don't we keep drawing. We don't keep deserve. We don't. We didn't deserve the. We deserved the win. I personally, I think, but. We need to finish our chances, and it's becoming. It's really annoying that these games where we need to find that. I don't know what it is. We just need to find that link or something that we need to get goals. Even Ibrahimovic is starting to. It's, it's starting to worry me because he hasn't. Well, he scored in the. Um, well, he hasn't scored for quite a while, but in the Premier League, he hasn't scored away for quite a long time and it is worrying me that I like our main goal scorer is <laughs> isn't scoring and when he's not scoring when he's poor the Man United team is poor and it's it's it is worrying me because you know we need to we need to win these points to get top four we need to win these points all right we do have Europa League that we can fall back on but personally we've I don't see if we keep drawing like this. I don't see us getting top four, um, just because it's it's like really annoying that the fact that we're drawing, we're losing points against teams where we should be winning. I mean, they're that's the, the bottom of the Premier League for God's sake. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So rant over, rant over. Um, that's that's all I'm gonna say. Um, so. That was that. So anyway, this weekend we got hot, uh, Leicester City at home. Obviously, uh, we lost to them. Uh, I think we lost to them last time. Uh, I think it is one. No, I think we drew to them at home last year. I think. Um, and at them at the at the current state of Leicester City, it is kind of the best place to go away at the moment because they are struggling uh, with uh, their home form at the moment. So, if we can get a victory here and just hope for, uh, I think Arsenal play Chelsea as well this weekend. So we just, hopefully if we can get. Oh, what a goal! Who is that, Lingard? <coughs> Um, hopefully we can get a victory because we need a vic we haven't had, we've had three draws in the last three games and it's it's becoming a really it's, we had this like run last uh, just before Christmas where we had three draws in, oh, we had a couple of draws we had like six draws in six games and it was really annoying um, well Jesus take us out oh great save um, yeah so we we definitely need to win this game Um Yes, yeah, so <laughs> it is a must-win game. We all our games now are must-win. There's like uh, how many games we played? I think it's like 22 we have played, and there's not many. I think it's like 16. Uh, yeah, 16 games left. Is it 16 games? I'm not too sure. But it's something like that. But we need to. Oh, lucky Lingard. We need something different, and at the moment it's not working. Um. Ah, oh, small and cleared off line. Um. Yeah, so I've gone for a different team. I've gone with Martial. He needs to start personally. He, when he plays, we play a diff bit different. All right, if he doesn't play, take take him off, Jose. But oh, there we go, Martial again. Um, 
Yeah, so that's why I've gone with Martial and um, Lingard because Lingard is a bit different. He makes the runs. What we didn't, what we really didn't have against. Um, uh, we, yeah, we we didn't play Lingard, and he makes the runs against uh, teams, and we didn't have that against um, Hull City, and. It really annoyed me because we it, it needed wide play and every time we just kept going to Valencia we need that's why I've also gone with uh, Darmin as well at left back we just need someone who can overlap um, Martial because Martial will cut inside and will want to you know go at the team but if we can have that person overlap him he'll, he'll give him the space that he needs so yeah, we just got. I mean, it's going to be annoying. I've got, I can see us drawing this game as well. That's the annoying thing. Unless we can, unless we can get a victory, but it's going to be worrying to see if because uh, they beat. I think Leicester beat Man City and on like they. Oh, great save to here. Oh yeah, they beat Man City four 0 at their place. I oh, know. Yeah, at at home. So if they do that against us, I'll be. I will, I will be worried for the top four. Oh, what a touch from Ibrahimovic. I will be worried if we do uh, something like that. If Because we, we can't... Lo we Personally, I, we can't drop any more points. Now that people... You know, last couple of games, people have been dropping points and we haven't been picking them up. That's the really annoying thing about uh, Man United in this current form. And we need to stop that. We need to get back to winning. And it's really disappointing. Oh, unlucky. And it's really... It's really uh, frustrating for us fans, you know, watching the game, you know, and they really want, <laughs> we really want the wins, do you know what I mean? We need the wins at the moment, we're not getting them. Yeah, so my score prediction, um, I'm going to just go 1-0. Um, I, I mean, I can see us drawing at the moment, that's the only thing. It could either be a 0-0 or they score and then we uh, score in the, like, the last 10 minutes again like we did against um, Stoke but yeah so that I'm gonna go for my score prediction I'm gonna go for 1-0 I've won 4 nil in here but it's gonna be it's gonna be one of them tough games for Man United and I just hope that we don't draw it so yeah for, uh, for my score prediction 1-0 like I said and yeah so please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time so right I'm going bye